name's Andrew Edmondson. I'm uh, 23 years old. I uh, grew up and live here in Sydney uh, pretty much all my life. Nine and a half years ago, I uh, went down to Coogee Beach after a long week of, of school. I uh, went to drive in just as I would any other day and just the next minute I just remember um, not being able to move anything. Um, everything was pitch black. I actually hit a sandbar underneath the, the water. When I arrived at hospital, I remember lying there in bed and the doctors uh, came back in after I'd had a few scans. Um, and they basically just said to my parents that your son's broken his neck and he will most likely be in a wheelchair for the rest of his life. For me, initially, all I thought was, you know, everything that I had was, was taken away. Part of my rehab was within the adult hospital. So I went over there a couple of days a week to do rehab and was introduced to um, one of the physios there who showed me a video of wheelchair rugby. I just knew as soon as I saw it, it was something I wanted to do and try. And I think it was a couple of weeks later, he actually uh, took me out to like a come and try day. I just knew, you know, it was perfect for me. I was uh, quite aggressive and, and uh, full on before I had my injury and I don't think anything's changed. You put me in that sporting environment and that's just the way I am. All the guys I play wheelchair rugby with are, are great. Um, they've taught me so much in my time and really accepted me into the team and given me advice and both on the field and off the field. I'm really fortunate now I've played for New South Wales and, and captain New South Wales and yeah, definitely my next goal is to, to play for Australia and, you know, play Olympic Games. Wheelchair rugby has given me a lot. Just the, the fitness aspect, getting back into that. Um, you know, mentally, you know, getting prepared for games and thinking about strategies and, and how you can better yourself. To all people with new spinal injuries, it, I just encourage them to, to get out there. You know, sport is a major part of a lot of people's lives. And, you know, a lot of people think just because they've had a spinal injury that, you know, that's the end of it and they can't do anything. But nowadays there's so much out there uh, for people in wheelchairs. Having a spinal injury is, is definitely not the end of the world. If anything, it's the start of something bigger for yourself.